And this video is on multi-step equations with distributive property. Um, I have done all my videos with equations or distributive property with distributing. I'm going to do this one with um, the box method so that we have just another video to where we can keep that if we need to. But our steps to solve uh, multi-step equations is going to be to distribute first. To distribute first, and then we're going to combine like terms, combine like terms, and then solve the equation. So if we come over here and we set up our box that we've used, there's two terms in that parentheses, so we need two boxes. Four times two is eight, so we have eight X, and four times nine is 36. So bring everything down, 8x plus 36 equals 68. And then we can solve the equation. We're going to minus 36 from both sides. And that's going to leave us with, um, we'll come up here, 8x equals 32. Divide both sides by 8. And x equals 4. All right, there's two terms here as well, but watch because this has a negative in it. So we've got six on our two boxes. We've got X and then a negative five. Remember, we take the sign that's in front of it. So six times X is six X and six times a negative five is a negative 30. And when you bring it down, you have six X minus 30 equals 18. We add 30 to both sides. This cancels out. 6x equals 48. I'm going to divide both sides by 6. This cancels it out. And 6, 48 divided by 6 is 8. You can check if you want to. Um, you can put 8 minus 5 is 3. 6 times 3 is 18. So you can do that. Um, I don't require my students to check. So here we've got four, two terms, two boxes, 5x and 6, positive 6. 4 times 5x is 20x, and 4 times 6 is 24. So 20x plus 24 equals 12. Minus 12 from both sides. This cancels out. 20x equals, that's a minus, should, this should be a minus 24. Eraser. My bad. This is a minus 24, guys. And you end up with a negative 12. And you divide by 20 on both sides. X equals a negative positive by positive is a negative 12 twentieths reduced is three fifths. You can give me that in decimal or fraction. I'll know which one's which. All right, and here we've got a negative on the outside of the box and a negative on the inside. So we've got two X and then a minus four. A negative three times two X is a negative six X. And a negative 3 times a negative 4 is 12. So we would bring that down as negative 6x plus 12 equals 18. Minus 12 from both sides. That cancels out. Got a negative 6x equals 6. Divide by negative 6 on both sides. This cancels out. x equals a negative one. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. All right. This says, use your knowledge of solving equations to answer the following question. Eduardo solved the following equation but made an error to, to describe his mistake. So if we look here, 5 times 4 is 20. He, Eduardo, he did not distribute all the way through. Did not distribute all the way through.
All right, and then it says correctly solve the equation. So if we do it, we've got a negative 5, 4x minus 2 equals a negative 30. So we've got a negative 5 and a 4x minus 2. That's a negative 20x and a negative 5 times a negative 2 is 10. So we have a negative 20x plus 10 equals a negative 30 minus 10. These cancel out. A negative 20x equals a negative 40. Divide by negative 20. I'm running out of room. Negative 20. X equals 2. We'll do that in class so y'all will be able to see that because we'll do this then. Right. On the back side, we've got 1 half. Two boxes times x plus 4. 1 half times x is... 1 half x, and 1 half times 4 is 2. So we have 1 half x plus 2 equals negative 12 minus 2 minus 2. 1 half x equals a negative 12 plus a negative 2 is a negative 14. And then that's division, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 2 over 1. And that makes x negative 28. A negative divided by, I mean, a negative multiplied by positive is a negative. I have to write it smaller. they got to give me bigger boxes. Okay, I'm just going to turn this one around, which you can do. Y'all get confused when it's backwards. 3x and a minus 2. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times a negative 2 is a negative 4. So 6x minus 4 equals 26. We'll add 4 to both sides. That leaves me with 6x equals 30. Divide by 6 on both sides. x is equal to 30 divided by 6 is 5. two-thirds, and then our box out here, we got 3x minus 6. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so that's 2x. A net, because this one's going to be negative, 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 3 is 4. So 2x minus 4 equals 8. Add 4 to both sides. 2x equals 12, divide by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. x equals 6. Okay, on this next one, we're going to be combining some like terms. So let me try to write smaller here. So we got a negative 2, and you got 1.7x, and then 1.2. We've got... 1.7 times 2 is 3.4x. And then 1.2 times 2 is 2.4, but that's a negative 2, so 2.4. So we got 3.4x minus 2.4 minus 3.6 equals 4. So this... And this are like terms. So we got 3.4x, and that's 10. So that's going to be minus 7 equals 4. So we add 7. We get 3.4x equals 11 divided by 3.4. So we have 11 divided by 3.4 equals 3. Let's see. Let's check back over that. 2 plus 2.4. Oh, that's 3.8. Okay, let me change that then. That's 3.8. 
that's going to change this, guys. So let me erase this. Can't see. So 2.4 plus 3.8 is 6.2. So 3.4x minus 6.2 equals 4. Now we add 6.2. We get 3.4x equals 10.2 divided by 3.4. 10.2 divided by 3.4 is 3. That should be negative. That's negative 3. Sorry about that, guys. We'll, we'll do it in class. Here we got 5. And then 4 minus 2x. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 2, negative 2 is negative 10 and bring down the x. So we've got 20 minus 10x equals negative 14. Subtract 20 from both sides. Here you're left with a negative 10x equals a negative 14 plus a negative 20 is a negative 34. Divide by 10, negative 10, I mean, negative 10, x equals 3.4. This one we just have to combine like terms. There's no distributive. So a negative 2x plus 6x is 4x, and the left with minus 9 equals a negative 4. So plus 9 on both sides. 4x equals 5. Divided by 4, x equals 1 and 1 fourth, or 1.25 if you do decimals. All right. Three friends met at a book club, met for a book club at a coffee shop. Each friend orders a cup of coffee and two donuts. The total order was 21.75. So let's bring down the 21.75. Three cups of coffee. Each cup of coffee was three twenty-five, and then they ordered two donuts a piece. A piece. So if we multiply this out, three times three point two five is nine point seven five plus three times two is six. So six donuts, and that equals twenty-one seventy-five minus the nine seventy-five. That's going to give us six donuts is equal to 12. Divide by six on both sides. The donuts cost $2. All right. Two brothers each purchase a new pair of hiking boots and two canteens. The hiking boots cost $34 each, and the total of their purchase was $98. What was the cost of each canteen? So the variable X is the canteen. All right, so let's write an equation. He purchased a hiking boots for $34. And he got two canteens. And there was two brothers. That same thing. And their total purchase was 98. So we can do this. And that's going to be 68 plus 4x equals 98. Subtract 68 from both sides. That cancels out. You got 4x equals 30. Divide by 4. X equals 7.5 so the cost of the canteen was seven dollars and fifty cents 